your pastors, but also with all of you in the church. It's always been a great time for me, and I trust it's been a great time for you as well. And I'm expecting some good things today. We're going to talk for a few hours about the blood covenant, and that is a, a subject I really like, one of my favorites. It's one of the things I teach in Bible schools in different places. Uh, I was just thinking back, you know, last weekend I was in California with some other friends at their church. The week before that I was in London at a prayer conference. The week before that I taught at our, our church's Friday night kind of meeting. The week before that I was doing a seminar in the Netherlands. And the week before that I think I was in Germany again and a couple ones before that I was in Norway. So as Pastor Bob said, I get around and do all these wonderful things and it's pretty exciting. And I'm, I'm really thankful that God has given me the opportunity to teach the word and to share the truth with a lot of other people. Because as Jesus said, we know John chapter 8, he said, it's the truth that makes you free. But it's not just hearing the truth one time. He said, you've got to continue in it. We were just sing, singing about having an awareness. And awareness and expectation are something we really need to have. We've got to keep our focus and, uh, so to speak, our awareness on the right kind of thing which helps us with our expectation. Whenever, you're, whenever you come to the Word, first of all, because you can do that anytime, but when you come to church or you come to meetings like this or something, always come with an awareness that, that God is real. The Holy Spirit is here, and He wants to help each and every one of us. You might think about, well, this, is, this topic is blood covenant, but that's not what I need to hear about. I need to hear about whatever. But if you're aware of the Holy Spirit and Him being with us, and you keep your expectation on God and His Word, you'll get what you need. Always. Yeah. When I go teach in different Bible schools, in fact, uh, when I'm back in Germany, <clears throat> I'll be teaching about Bible history and some things like this at our, church, at our school in Cologne. And typically, people don't come to classes on Bible history thinking, Hallelujah, I can't wait to hear about Bible history. But even in a class on Bible history or church history or whatever, you can get what you need because you don't have to rely on a person teaching you. As Jesus said, the Holy Spirit is the one who teaches us. He's going to lead us into all the truth. So whatever truth you need today, expect him to give it to you. And it, it does fit in with our subject today because today we are in a blood covenant relationship with our Heavenly Father. Now, we don't always have a real awareness of that or an understanding, which is why we do things like this. And this is one of the problems we have as Christians in the church world, that there are a lot of things that we are connected to today because of Jesus. There are things that are available to us today. There's truth in God's word today that we don't always have an awareness and understanding of. And once we gain an awareness of it, it's a little bit like what Paul prayed in Ephesians chapter 1. Paul had been to Ephesus, he taught those people some things, but he was still praying that they would get a revelation and understanding of the truth that they'd heard. So, as Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. But before that, in verse 31, he says, if you continue in my word, then you're my disciples. And a disciple is a learner. So we have to stay with God's word and continue in it so we really get an understanding of the truth, and that's how we get free and stay free. It's not just hearing it one time. It's not just coming to church one time on a, you know, during a month, which is another issue. But, <laughs> you know, I go all over the place. I go to a lot of different churches. And I, got, I keep my little lists and everything. That's, I think, my German influence coming out. I'll listen to Arden, you know, get everything written down. And so far I've been to like maybe 38 different churches and 19 different Bible schools at least once. And people are pretty much the same. <laughs> And there's a lot, of, a lot of different issues going on. If we would have a real understanding and awareness of where we are in Christ today, if we would have a real understanding of who we are spiritually, it would change how we live. Not just to better our life, but so that we would be in a position to do the will of God and make a positive impact on other people's lives. Now, really, the whole Bible is a book of covenants. Now, we talk about we've got the Old Testament and the New Testament, but you 